Uh, and here, uh, ladies and gentlemen, brothers, sisters, friends, the comrades over on the YouTube, and to my family, and the love of my life comes up tomorrow. Woo -woo. It's going to be a long travels for her, though, and flying just is such a bummer anymore, man. There's no adventure in it. It's a pain in the ass at every airport. I mean, she would, yes, definitely be flying into Boise, which is, that's a great little airport, let me tell you. Uh, very low-key. But um, we still opted for her to drive up, so she'll be leaving tomorrow morning. Monday, today is Sunday, May 12th. It's Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. And to mine, I've spoken to both my mothers today. Um, talked to my mom from the truck stop in Jerome, Idaho this morning where I stayed last night. And I just spoke to my mother-in-law um, uh, from the uh, Caldwell yard where I am right now. Uh, they're in the Vegas uh, area. So I've talked to them. I'm going to call my Hegney in a little while. So... Happy Mother's Day to my Hegney and all my sister-in-laws and all my friends that are moms. Love y'all. So, uh, really good travels, man. I had really good travels uh, this last few loads, actually. I was up in Minnesota, uh, saw my brother and uh, Charlie. Charlie's my uncle, I mean officially, but I just can't bring myself to call him Uncle Charlie. Sorry, Charlie. Remember that commercial back in the 70s, the chicken of the sea? Sorry, Charlie. But, uh, yeah, I mean, we grew, we grew up together. We grew up together when we were kids. You know, we were both kids standing next to each other. In fact, at one point, my grandmother, his mom, we would go to the store with her and she would say, okay, look, either both of you call me mom or both of you call me grandma. All right? Just establish that before we even go in the store. <laughs> Bless her heart. Love, Grandma. So, Charlie and I got a kick out of that. 11 months older than me. We're only, you know, we're 11 months apart and just grew up close. But I just can't bring myself to calling him uncle because of that. You know, I just can't do it. I know he's my uncle. I appreciate that. He's my mom's youngest brother. And... I just, I don't know. Like I said, sorry, Charlie. <laughs> anyway, uh, saw my brother the following day, which was fantastic. I uh, had lunch uh, with him. He flew into Minneapolis from the Chicagoland area and then um, had to go to Fargo. So he came down to Mankato where I was and we went and had lunch and I got a few provisions and um, then he bailed to uh, Fargo and now he's uh, spending the day with my mother um, in uh, Texas, northern Texas so uh, yeah this was a good trip out I got to see my brother at the beginning of the trip uh, the very next uh, segment of the trip I was able to get down to see my folks down in Texas and my sister and actually got to see Jason this time, her hubby and um, actually got to see my nephew and niece-in-law this time, which was fantastic because I don't get to see them every time. They Again, they work kind of wicked hours. Um, not so much Allison, but Micah, Micah goes to work at like an ungodly hour in the morning. So um, <clears throat> anyway, so I don't always get to see them. It was nice to see them. Uh, then, like I said, Charlie and my brother. And now I'm back here in Caldwell. I brought a beer load in from uh, Golden, Colorado. And um, now I'm going to get some time off, some well-needed and I would say deserved uh, time off to um, visit with my wife up here at my Uncle Bob and Aunt Patty's. And I'm excited about that. Um, I love spending time with them. And uh, I love going out to eat with them. Boise is a foodie place. I mean, of all places, you wouldn't think so. But what do you want? 
you want cuisine, you want comfort food, you want fast food, you, I mean, it's all here. It's all in Boise. It's an amazing foodie type place. It really is. Um, yeah, there's no lack for places to eat in Boise, Idaho. So I found a couple of my favorite spots and um, can't wait to take Mama to one of them. 830 Commons is the name of that joint. It's a cool name. I don't know how they come up with it, though. Anyway, so we're going to go there um, probably a couple of times this week, to be truthful. But so anyway, uh, I sit here and wait for Uncle Bob to come and get me as I chill in the yard. And um, once again, a good, a good travels this last time out. So I'm excited about that. Uh, it was a long outing. I was out for a while. So over here I have all my dirty clothes, clean clothes. I don't know why I'm bringing those. I think it's just a, you know, safety blanket deal here. This is my orange duffel bag. And then I have my other bag here full of, uh, you know, toiletries. So anyway, um, I'm not going to be on for a while. I'm going to take this entire week to myself. And, uh, you know, general rule really is that if when I'm on home time, all things trucking cease and desist. And I would say that being up here uh, in Idaho for this particular home time would be no exception. So uh, if there is an exception, uh, be as surprised as I would be because I don't intend to. <laughs> so... Um, Anyway, uh, I've noticed a few more new subscribers. If we're not at 500 right now, we're damn close. Thank you so much for that. I don't even know how else to thank you. I, you know, I'm just, I'm just chit-chatting. And again, and anything fancy, they're nothing fancy. The joy of trucking, they're fancy. I am not fancy. Okay, so uh, I appreciate you guys coming on in and uh, hearing what I have to say, even if it's boring and mundane. Uh, I still love that uh, you want to take the time to check a brother out, see what's going on. Right on? Uh, since I'm in the yard, uh, where is practically my second home here, uh, it's, there's no swivel. It's I'm in the pink zone. In the pink zone, waiting for Uncle Bob to get here. And uh, you know who love you. I mean, it's as simple as that. You are aware, well aware of who love you. And once again, thank you for chiming in and staying this long. I do appreciate it. Take care of yourselves. Take care of somebody else. Just say hi to somebody. That could and would make someone's day. Even if they don't answer you back, they may think later on that day, you know what, that, that dude said hi to me. And I was an ass enough not to respond. But I regret that now. You don't know. You don't know. You could make somebody's day just by saying hello. Give it a try. I do it all the time. Sometimes they answer me. Sometimes they don't. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because I'm having a good time. Hell yeah. I hope you do too. Peace.